Tensions flared tonight as the Washington Parish Public School Board discussed the dozens of workers who went on strike this week, forcing the cancellation of classes. Ashlyn Brothers has more from Franklinton on the push for better pay. In an effort to keep classes in session, the Washington Parish School Board was tasked with tackling tensions fueled by arguments over fair pay. Some people stayed outside with signs in hand, standing in solidarity. And this is not going against the children. This is just us trying to feed our own children in our own homes. They're not giving us enough money to even do that without a second job or assistance from the government. You can believe what you want, but my staff and I fight for you every day at, those, at the office. We fight for you to have what you need. Believe me, if we had the money, we'd be more than glad to increase and give you every wish you had. Many employees calling into question why they haven't received pay raises in years. Six years I have been employed and I am making annually $16,500. Some workers tell us they take home less than $1,000 a month. Ariel Westbrook says she's disappointed. At almost 40 years old, I can look back and name almost everybody in this audience because we were affected by them, whether we came through the lunch line, whether we were being taught, or even it was a para, it didn't matter. We were affected by that and it shaped how we are. They say that uh, it takes a village. Well, this is our village and we want our village to be paid right. Nearly half the district school bus drivers, along with all but three cafeteria workers, many custodians and other support staff protested for higher pay during a walkout in front of the district's office earlier this week, forcing school administrators to cancel classes Tuesday for nearly 5,000 students and rely on help from neighboring parishes Wednesday to feed students and get them to and from school. Like my youngest is in pre-K and they're saying that they can't go at all because pre-K is not considered mandatory. So my son just isn't allowed to go to school. The superintendent says she's heard and documented every complaint and is meeting with her team Friday morning as they have been doing since Tuesday to meet the demands people have. Board members say they're working to determine how much employees are making and if they can locate additional money that information will be shared at next Thursday's school board meeting. We've asked since last spring, let's scrub budgets, let's look at revenue streams. Now we've got a little grace and flexibility from the department to maybe consider some things we couldn't prior, so we can redirect that and get a proposal. Right. Together we stand, divided we fall. That's right. We're not going to school tomorrow. That's right. The conversation can end now. Let's get our cars and go home. In Franklinton, Ashland Brothers, Fox 8, Local First.